This is from Restored Republic via GCR, compiled by Judy Byington. This is on Tuesday, September 8th at 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time. An executive order on the stimulus bill was signed off by President Trump, U.S. Attorney General Bill Barr, U.S. Treasury Secretary Mnuchin. That settled Nasera requirements and opened the door for an RV shotgun start. There was an unplanned 24-hour hold on the EO which now left the release to at any day, any moment. Redemption Center staff were being told that they were exchanging Tier 4B off the Internet group this week and weekend. On Friday, September 4th, a 10-day blackout and readjustment of the banking system to the quantum financial system began and would go until at least Monday, 14, September 14th, perhaps longer, although not all banks were affected. We have until Monday, September 14th, to exchange at the contract rates available at redemption centers. On Tuesday, September 15th, the general public could exchange at the new international currency rates at banks. On Thursday, October 1st, the quantum financial system and asset-backed USN would be fully online for the start of the Restored Republic federal government fiscal year. Warning on emails. September 9th, 8.54 a.m., Fleming's military intel contact warning on emails. Number one, do not worry that you did not get a test email on Tuesday, September 8th. Number two, when testing the emails for the exchange, the average person connected with Tier 4B group would not get an email. Email tests were being used as a sting operation to wrap up things that needed to be taken care of before the release could take place. Number three, the banks had a list of people connected to various criminal ties or activities. Generally, the emails would be sent to those people who had those criminal ties. Number four, right now, there were emails being sent across the U.S. saying that people should contact a certain 800 number. The the emails and 800 numbers asked for certain personal and banking information and wanted people who had a credit card to contact USPS or UPS do not respond to these emails and 800 numbers. Number five, the real RV emails would be would not be asking for any information concerning your banking or asking for how much ZIM or currency you had. Anyone asking you for your holdings in currency or ZIM, do not tell them. Number six, all of your email addresses have been turned over to HSBC. The actual RV emails would be coming from HSBC and Wells Fargo. Number seven, these RV emails would contain all information you needed to know in order to proceed to the next step in the RV process. Number eight, the big reason as to why they were using this method and not just an outright publishing of the 800 numbers was because of fraud. 800 numbers were very easy to get. Just ask the Nigerians on their 419 scams they ran through 800 numbers. Number nine, the only thing Intel providers would be able to provide on their websites was the SafeLink website.